Good morning, everyone. It is day 39 of the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. Now, I bought this last year, the Shamrock Shake um, from Flav City. That's grease on the back of the bag from the dog's um, omega-3 oil. Um, hemp hearts, bee pollen, astragalus, um, the almond milk, which I have this on the shelf down there, and then, of course, some flaxseed. And you could put in some chia seeds, um, anything you want. I just put a little bit of the milk, the ice, and then the rest of the stuff. And I'm going to blend it in the Nutribullet. There is some sunshine today, but um, it's uh, lot, lots of clouds because we're supposed to get some rain too today. So but I just wanted to show you those um, poinsettia flowers. Poinsettia. I see one of the roosters has made it around here to clean up some of that bird seed. Oh, oh, looky there. Well, hello. Hey okay, guys, today I'm gonna to be working on some seeds again, um, getting some more planted. Some things that I'd like to, uh, today I'm gonna to get the celery done. Um, some more of these peppers that I have right here. So the Atuda, which means teacher, um, the Hatch Green Medium, these peppers here, I, I, you, yeah, I can't say that one. So more of the Asher County Pimentos, because I saved those and so far they haven't came up, but it does say spouts in seven to 10 days. So, but it has been, it, it has been that long. So I'm gonna replant those. And then these chocolate habaneros, I haven't planted yet. So those are some of the things I'm gonna get done right now. And I did get all the, the um, trays washed. And so these are, I'm recycling. That's what I, these are like three years old now. So every time I can just keep using them. And you know, I'm gonna get some more things done and I'll tell you about it. But this morning um, I slept in, I guess you wanna say it. It, the alarm was going off at 6.30 and the bus comes at 6.30. And I got up and I said, Dusty, Dusty, I've overslept. He said, well, I didn't hear the alarm. I said, well, neither did I. <laughs> so needless to say, I had to drive them to school. And um, they made it on time though, because it starts at like 7.40, but uh, I, it just happened. So, Anyway, <laughs> okay, so you asked me for a little tour, even though um, it's it's not really much, it's a very small place actually, and but nobody's complaining, I'm just saying. But here is like the foyer that I was talking about. So there's where I do all the beads, there's all the bead racks and all, um, and this is the Hooser cabinet that um, Bruce got it at a yard sale one time in Norfolk for um, 75 bucks. So I love that thing. Even though I think I could use um, something bigger in a better space for more storage stuff, but I love it so much I'm not going to change it. And we do use this, like I have teas in here. And down here we keep like some of the appliances and stuff. Um, and then of course this little bookshelf has a lot of books on it. And this is the Valentine stuff. And this this over here is kind of like the junk collect area. Um, the shoes everywhere. And then of course I have a lot of um, jars stored right over there. And these are the coats. And stuff and you need a lot of coats here and I always bring nature stuff in so and Bruce never knows what to do with it if he cleans up he just kind of like moves it over <laughs> but this here this is um let me get the light so this light here has a it gets up and down there sorry about that and I've got books on all these shelves too. So, and then coming through here, so this will be coming through the front door. 
and these are some of my old tags um this was on the 1968 um monster truck that we had a long time ago good old days <laughs> when you were young and could do a lot of fun stuff but you still can do fun stuff now but um this here is like a, i have a collection of skulls for honoring our um ancestors so i've, I've ha always had that and i made this one here um and then like this one i bought at a craft show and this one I bought at a craft show, although I used to paint these years ago, back in the early 90s, and that's why I bought it, um, because I had sold all mine, and I used to even, when I poured them, I would make extra slip and use um, uh, cheesecloth, and then put the cheesecloth in the slip, pull the slip out, and then fire it, and it would be like cobwebs on the skull. So, that was some something I used to do and these were just wax leaves that I did um this year and I couldn't put them up <laughs> so and I got a little bunch of stuff even though every time I do this um everybody leaves me so because I get and then these lights all cut off I had I turned the lights on for you so you could see them uh oh hold on and then this is a little cabinet I have over here. And I've got a lot of herbs and um, crystals and stuff in there. And down at the bottom is full of crystals as well. And then I've got lots of little artwork everywhere. And this is one I did. This is one I did. Um, this is one I did. This is one I did right here. Um, most everything, I always sell stuff. I just buy other people's stuff and then like this right here um i actually did that when i was like 12 or 13 i don't know exactly um it was on the back in the 80s but i did that for my grandfather and then when he passed away my uncle gave it back to me so and then i got this little cabinet right here um at my friend's store teresa and that I'm gonna I'm gonna repaint it and stuff and turn it into a curiosity cabinet. So and that um raven down there, I got that raven from a um store in Philadelphia. Alright, so what else can I tell ya? Okay, so we got some artwork over here. Okay, so I did this here and I taught a class on this this whole thing um each piece was a different piece of artwork and and they um students all loved it everybody then this one here is one i did but um i took a class with mindy lacefield and then of course this is one i did and this is the so so true many things grow in the garden that were never sown there i just love that and then this little um, doll I did um, the mother the, late, the girl's mother sewed it up and I painted the face on it and that is one of my most special things and of course y'all know I got the chili peppers hanging everywhere this is another um, ceramic thing I did years ago and it doesn't yeah I think I did that at Bush Gardens one year and then that little vase up there, that's one of my, um, my mom had when I was little. And the shaker box. Of course, all those are um, dried uh, chili peppers and dried anchos and basil, um, not basil, um, bay leaves. My goodness. <laughs> and then this is the broom Bruce made right here. Um, that one. And um, mine is over there somewhere. And my daughter, Amanda, painted this. And then the wood burned on the, the mushrooms back there. So you can see a little bit of, of some stuff here. I did this little doll. And that um, Buddha, I poured that with wax. 
so I don't want to bore you guys too much so and I bought that at the craft show I think I've showed you everything here in the foyer for sure pretty much oh and then I also have over here it, um okay that mosaic I did back oh around 2005 maybe um and then a friend of mine did this at the, our other farmers market and it's not hoarding if it's plants <laughs> so and this is a little um sink for getting my water for my plants and then this picture here um we've had I've, my mom had that ever since i was little and uh, she got was getting rid of it and so i took it but i just have always loved it always imagined you know like being out there with the um sheep porter sheep porter <laughs> my gosh Ooh, so that's it guys so let me know what you think and what you you know if this is what you kind of wanted when you, you mean a tour because like i said it's not really a whole lot you you basically see everything when you're here i mean when you're you know when i'm cooking and everything so um and then this like this one here um i got this at uh, cbn university um at a craft show i love that how it's grown through the the trees the trees of um that is so just how nature takes over and then i've got little sayings everywhere um And then this little here, this one right here, we were at a um, show, I mean, a, yeah, at a place in Alouez, um, Wisconsin. And I fell in love with that because Snoopy was my favorite when I was a kid. A little chicken that's handmade glass. That's from my friend Tammy in Virginia Beach. And then Linda got me the little sheep, right, the little goat and the chicken. I hope that was good because um I know how many people are like click click unsubscribe 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 so I hope that um doesn't make anyone mad just wanted to show you look how much they cleaned up out there today from all those seeds that's what I love about them <laughs> other than eggs <laughs> today I made these are like little knots with the 14 gauge you can see how they look like knots so they've already been in the tumbler ready to go for the sale and the whole box here is getting full so i'm excited about this because these are all the handmade pieces right here that i've done so those are the ones last night but um, some of my favorite ones um, are, are, well, of course, this pair. This is like my favorite. And then the, my granddaughter calls these the flamingos. <laughs> uh, and that this is my favorite pair right here. Apps. See, and if you put, if you turn things to the side, like if you're shopping for earrings, this is how they're going to hang in your ears. So you know that way, so you can hang you are uh, so like these kind, you would know that they're gonna hang like the birds since a bird still swivel. That's how they're gonna hang. All right, so let's get some food cooking. Saw the cardinal twice today, Diane. That's when I thought of you. And I, I came back to see if the cardinal was here. And of course, Julie barked and that was it, gone. Tonight, we're gonna make a little special thing. Um, uh, Saturday, I don't know why I keep saying Friday for it, but Saturday when I went to the store with that $40, I got these beautiful jalapenos. And for some reason, I thought I, I did a lot of things with jalapenos this year, but I never froze any. And I thought I did. So, because I like to make stuffed um, jalapenos or um, jalapeno poppers, whatever you want to call them, um, 
but basically I'm just gonna um, slice them in half. I'm gonna cook this bacon first and then I'm gonna stuff them, but I'm not gonna stuff them with cream cheese. I'm gonna stuff them with ricotta and it is absolutely delicious. So first of all, I'm gonna get these cleaned up and halved and um, cook the bacon. Remember, this is the uh, beef brisket bacon. The jalapenos, as you know, um, you need to wear gloves, but I don't have any. <laughs> I'm cooking that bacon and I've got the soup warming up from last night. Um, we can have soup and salad uh, if we need it, but once this, this bacon cooked so fast, there was virtually no grease at all in it and it smells really good so it'll it's all I, it's the only thing i have left for bacon is what i did the other day with the pork belly well the other week and this bacon that i found out there unless i come across one more in the freezer stuff somewhere all right so just cut them just like this just in case like that. And what you wanna do if you don't have gloves is be really careful and just touch the outside and kinda of just scrape out the insides because that's where all your heat is. Because literally if you cut out the veins and the seeds, um, they're not really all that hot, at least not to me. But now I have got some really hot ones before. Um, we make this strawberry salad, and I'm gonna tell you, as the Bruce, I said, that is the hottest jalapeno I've ever ate in my life when he made it. I said, Did you put a whole lot in there? And he said, No, I only put one. I said, Well, whatever it, that one is, and you could rinse them off if you were worried about the seeds still being in there. Um, but just, that's where all your heat is. So, in those veins and in those seeds. And I'm going to tell you, it, it is true. Because even, like, when I, since I save seeds, like, the whole time, if I'm touching the seeds, I can touch my eyes later on and I'll be like, oh, I forgot. Um, and so the seeds have heat too. So... Cause there's been a many a day that I was saving all the seeds and you don't, and you just, they're dry and everything. And you think, Oh, there's nothing, you know, going to get me, but it sure does. So just remember that. But if you, if you, I don't know, I have, usually have gloves here, but we had, they're probably at the um, commercial kitchen. So because we use them there for making the pickles and stuff. But anyways, you get the picture, and now I can, can rinse those out. And also, if you're like, if you're wanting to do stuff them whole, they have little um, tools that you can get, and it just, you stick it in, and then just run it around, and it gets rid of the seeds. And I have one of those, too. And the funny story with that was I had to buy a new one, because sometime around 2016, Colby decides that he's just going to get rid of everything in the kitchen that I don't use, because... Uh, I was working over there at the, our little commercial farm, I mean, kitchen we had on our farm. So I was working over there all the time, just like day in and day out. That's one thing that's bad about when you have your business right at your house because you never stop working. So um, I would be over there all the time working. So Colby decides that he's gonna just get go through every kitchen thing that he, that he doesn't think I use. He got rid of, I said, I told him I didn't want to look in the box because if I did, I'd, I'd want to keep everything. And uh, so I looked in the, I didn't look in the box and Bruce dropped it off at the, uh, like the thrift store. And I'm like, next time I, ne I need something, I'm looking for it and looking for it. And I'm like, oh, that must've been in that box. So Kobe got rid of a lot of things that I had that were good things that I could, you know, like even, I know some things weren't necessary and you could do without them, but sometimes I just like convenience. So 
and some most of the time I'm doing things in volume so when I'm doing things in volume I like to have things that make things simple that's just all there is to it so <laughs> I have another little story which I've told a lot of you before about it um, one year this is probably around 2010 I had like a bushel of jalapenos and uh, I and my daughter said she would do it Amanda and she did all the jalapenos and cut them I said Amanda you got to wear gloves you got to wear gloves no I'll be fine I'll be fine well Amanda had a rash all over her chest all over her hands everything she had done all those jalapenos hmm, it's kind of getting my breath she had cut all those jalapeno ugh, jalapenos and done um, processed them and needless to say Amanda didn't uh, not do that again and so that's a lesson learned don't do think that you're gonna be so brave and not wear the gloves because it really is beneficial to wear the gloves but I'm just gonna slice up the bacon it's kind of tough but yet it's good but it's got that you know beef top and but I'm gonna slice it up really thin and then I'm gonna mix the um, ricotta cheese which I bought that yesterday and I showed y'all that because I knew I had bought these jalapenos but I forgot the ricotta cheese when I was there because I really wasn't gonna go in there because I was like no we really can't go in there and uh Bruce says, oh no, come on, let's go. Just, I said, no, I'll sit in the car because um, I knew if I got in there, I'd be seeing stuff. And uh, my friend Teresa, years ago, um, when we would go places, my kids were same age as her kids. And uh, she we'd have to go in the grocery store. She's like, I got my blinders on, I got my blinders on, I got my blinders on, because she knew if we went in the store, we'd be buying everything. <laughs> So, those were the good old days. It's funny how you think that, you know, sometimes when things might not be going so well and, and then you think back on it and you know, those were the good old days. Those were the good days. You know, sometimes um, life throws us things that, you know, we're not exactly happy about or, you know, or it's got to work through. And then all of a sudden, you know, you, you think back on it and it really was good times. And that's what I always say. Every day is good times. Every day is good times. Always have good days. You know, even the, day, the days that are bad are still good days. So I think that's probably about it. I don't know, I just enjoy talking to you guys which I'm surprised they're not home yet. It, it's um, getting dark now. And uh, the boys had basketball again, Cooper and Dusty. The, the Cooper's in weightlifting. He doesn't do basketball. But I think that's probably about it. I'll, maybe I'll cut a few more pieces, but I'm gonna get that cheese out now. And there is the cardinal. Look, right there, that little red. Put about three big spoonfuls in here of the cheese, the ricotta cheese. Now, once you open your ricotta cheese, you're gonna wanna use it because it doesn't keep well and it doesn't freeze either. It do well, Cody says he, fr he freezes cream cheese, but I've had bad experiences with that. So, um, that I don't freeze either. Just, it is, doesn't look the same. I put like one handful of, um, regular cheddar cheese in, sharp cheddar. And these are some onions and the bacon going in. And we're just gonna mix all that up. Just like that. And we're gonna turn our oven on to 400. And if you want to, you could add a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper into the, the mix. And let me get that oven on. 400 start. Okay. And then we're just going to take them 
And like I said, this is a simple, easy way to do it. And if you have an air fryer, you can put these in the air fryer as well. Um, that's what Colby likes to do. He likes to put them in the air fryer. So, and Cody probably would like to use them because they bought one right when the babies were born. So they have something easy for them to cook with and things that, you know, didn't involve a lot of cooking because they didn't know what to expect. You know, and nobody does as a first time parent. You don't know what you're gonna go through. Cause like with Colby, Colby had the colic and he was, whoo, I tried everything. And for two months of my life, I spent in a rocking chair. Um, I, literally, I'm not joking. And I had, I had five other kids too then. And it, it, it was really hard. But what his problem was is he, his stomach was so bad and, um, he, he was on a special formula that was so expensive, was Nutramagen. And this was back in 2004. So it was a, it was a struggle. And, and so I get it. I get it. You conveniences, there we go with those conveniences again. <laughs> so you just want to stuff them just like that. And of course, it, as Bruce says, I overstuff. So, but that's okay. They're good. And like I said, this is a super easy way. And then I, I have recipes too, where I grill, put them on the grill, um, with the, I'm doing them straight up in, in a whole form. And those are absolutely delicious. You could put like a little bit of, in this mix too, you could put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. But nobody can ever say that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the show what's the show yeah anyways I'll bring you back once I get it all I don't want to make the video so long it's been raining but look at that sunshine now I usually call that the daily teas because it only comes out a few minutes before it gets dark all right so my health has arrived Woo I don't know if we're help today or guinea pigs. Maybe I think we just take the guinea pig route. Mm -hmm. Colby, oh. come give us an update. Yeah, Colby, come give us an update on how come. things are doing or going. Come on, Colby. What do you want me to say? I walk on a big boat. You walked on a big boat? I walk on a big boat. <laughs> tell, tell them how good you're doing welding. Yeah, tell them how you're the second best welder in the building. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Well, dude, just do the cooking thing. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Look at Look that. Look at that. It's incredible. Yes. And um put that right down and then we'll let those cool and we'll have some. Yeah, and look who's here. Oh yeah. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> and her and grandma are making jewelry again. Jewelry stars. Yes. We love making some jewelry, don't we? Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Okay, so here we go. They've cooled down. Colby's already taken two, at least. Yes, two. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a winner. You guys will love this. And if you don't like oh. the hot stuff, Get some sweet peppers and do the same thing with it. Marconi's, right? Oh, the ones at the store, the grocery yeah. store. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dusty and Cooper. Snooze you lose, boys. Enjoy your game. We enjoyed the poppers. <laughs> Anna, <laughs> Colby, what do you think about the poppers? All right. Well, I thought I'd get more excitement for someone who couldn't oh. stop so, eating them. So I wanted to tell them what Dakota said. Dakota said... Go ahead and tell them again, Dakota. Since Grandma done what? Grandma done made them, so she should have them. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> if she did the work, she should have the most. Oh. Well, guys, here it is, another day down. And 
Um, I can't thank you guys enough. Honestly, I really can't thank you enough for all the support, all the comments, all the love. I mean, everything. It makes her day every I, day. I read just, those comments and everything. She really, she might fuss every now and then about making a video because it takes a lot of time. And then she reads your comments and she says, oh, it's all worth it. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. And and um, I've got so many things planned for you guys. And um, I've been like thinking about this and thinking about the things pop in my head. It's just like when I was doing all the design team work and stuff and it'd be like, oh yeah, I could do this. I could do that. It's just like that. So, but yeah, today, um, right before when my granddaughter called, I made two of these bracelets. So I've already, I just took this one out of the tumbler. The other one hasn't gone in yet, but this is the uh, copper wire with these little beads, I think come from like Michael's or something. I'm not sure. It looks beautiful. So, um, and it's all copper. Well, thank you so much. And we'll see I, you tomorrow. Cause I play hooky on Fridays. You don't play hooky. Yeah. It just happens to work that way because it's, what, 40-hour week? Yeah, 410. Four okay. Yep. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right.